Hello and welcome, I'm Marco. It's time to start a new Europa Universalis 4 Let's Play. For this Let's Play, I'm gonna accept the suggestion of one of you guys uh, that asked me to play as a Western African nation. I still don't have the African power achievement, so I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna play as Congo. One of you guys also asked me to play as friends to do the big blue blob achievement, but I don't like to play as friends. I must have fun. And if I don't like to play as friends, that's not fun for me. France is too powerful and there's nothing there that um, uh, would make me um, that would make a fun game for me. I actually don't like to play most nations in Europe. Anyway, uh, DDR Jake just finished his blue big big blue blob achievement, and um, there's pretty much only one strategy that uh, is guaranteed to give us the big blue blob achievement and he used it. Let's overwrite this. I, I just messed around with it a while ago. Never finished the game. I'm also selecting to play as Kongu because I want a um, relaxed game. This, this uh, achievement is labeled as uh, very hard in the U4 achievements page. Anyway, let's um, let's see. Or Kongu. For starters, let's improve relations with um, our vassal. I'm gonna choose what is for me the, um, the best strategy to play, or at least the most relaxed one, the one where we, c and also the most effective in my opinion. But I could be wrong because I'm not a specialist in West Western African. West African countries, but I do know that um, I do know the mechanics quite well, so I'm pretty sure the strategy that I'm gonna select is one of the most effective, if not the most effective. But I'll talk about that later. For now, I'm gonna prioritize um, admi administrative power. I know several people like to prioritize military and um, that makes sense too that makes a lot of sense but in my opinion not um, with not in this version of the game where pouring stuff is absolutely um, well it's very expensive so let's go uh, I, I, I love this um, this tribal kingdom um, of course not this one I'm gonna I'm gonna um, change to tribal despotism despotism as soon as possible because of the core creation cost minus 10 percent these ones I don't care much it's gonna be a bit slow at first but, but yeah, it's gonna be a real last game for me. Hopefully you like it too. Let's, let's not play the army. I don't think we can do more than collect from trade. Go there. I want to unlock this as soon as possible. We need one plus one stability. This one is also great. 
but our ruler needs to have a three admin skill nor the ruler nor the our air has that ability so probably gonna take a while okay let's build I'm gonna say let's build up to force limit but there's no point let's send these guys to the Ivory Coast, I'm not gonna pay them. I don't think they will gain to pay for themselves, but I'm gonna need them further down the road. That's why I'm not gonna tell them. Okay, let's go. Let's increase the, decrease the maintenance to see how much, how many ducats we'll make. 2.07. Oh yeah. Let's decrease the maintenance of the fleet. And speed 5. This is gonna take a while. Because I'm gonna, I'm only going to expand after I unlock the first idea group. It's very expensive to quarry in this version of the game. In my, one of my early attempts where I didn't finish because suddenly I wanted to play something else. I took over all the West Africa by um, the year 1500. Right now it's not possible because... Or at least it's very very difficult due to the lack of um, admin power. This is ridiculously expensive to core. Okay, so before something bad happens, uh, let's do stability and unlock this. We start with tech 2, so yeah, give me the stability, gain a bit of local autonomy, but who cares. Not, <clears throat> not a huge deal. Actually, we can even decrease it. Since I'm not going to war anytime soon. this guy. I barely have money for him but I'm gonna hire him to speed up. Speed up the, the, the tacking. This guy is crappy. The most important for us at this point is the admin power, of course, this guy has only one point of admin.
When can I annex you? Well, I don't want to annex you. Maybe I should. 15, 14, 54. Okay. At this point we have a very, very um, short colonial range. By the way, some of you guys are probably waiting for a resumed version of my world conquest as the Ottomans, but I didn't have the time to do it. That sort of video is the, the kind of stuff that I don't like to do. I don't like to add it. I may do it or may not do it at all if I don't have the time nor the mood. What I really like, what I really enjoy is playing the games and uh, talking with you guys through the comments and um, through the videos. Yep, lots of waiting. If we get lucky and the next air is very good at uh, admin power, this will go faster. If not, it's speed 5 waiting and waiting for an um, admin 5 tank to unlock the first national idea idea group and first, no and first national idea actually may be able to unlock two Congo has some nice some nice uh, national ideas with the exception of that their chance which is rather is uh, not very helpful in my opinion something that I enjoy a lot in this game rebels here they come Let's not pay the army. Like I was saying, Congo has some nice ideas, like this one, military attack minus 10%. This one is great too, especially like, of course, diplomatic reputation is very good, but minus 25% diplomatic travel time is also great one is good too because of the of the infantry compatibility production efficiency it's only money discipline i love it minus 20 percent land attrition is also great and uh, better relations over time also a very good idea in my opinion I'm actually playing with all DLCs, so I did not disable the Common Sense DLC for this uh, playthrough. Yep, gonna be slow at the beginning. But I think it's for the best. Okay, kinda forgot to do this. 
not gonna give me a big amount of money, but it helps. They won't be able to help with my horse words, so. Soon you'll, soon you'll be able to annex uh, Luangu. I want to annex these guys. At least not yet. Let's uh, select that mission. This will be able to do it rather soon. At least something will happen in this episode. So that's not bad, not bad. Okay, what's the next thing? This is gonna piss off these guys, not a big deal. There's a reason why I don't want to annex this vessel, but I will only talk about it later, if you don't mind. I bet some of you guys already know why I'm not going to annex them, so if you know it, at least the ones that have been watching my gameplay for longer, if you know what I'm talking about, Leave it in the comments. Please leave it in the comments why I'm not annexing these guys. And why am I annexing Luangu? Okay, I'm gonna build to the force limit. Oh, it's too soon. It's still too soon. Still need let's reduce the local autonomy, shall we? Still need the several text. I'm only gonna take up when I have neighbor bonus with some admin. Okay, this is starting to be um, somewhat annoying. I want um, the stability for sure. But I won't be able to decrease the local autonomy anymore. Do it. Let's go with the stability. You'll be at peace for a very long time, so it's ticking down. And that will reduce the revolt risk, the unrest. Which is very welcome because we decrease the local autonomy in uh, lots of provinces. We are at our force limit and we gained a, a cog from our vessel. And also a few barks. Let's see, will that give me more money? Point six. Not really, I don't need um, all these bark. Let's see if I can sell them. There's an exploit to tell navies, but I'm not gonna do it in this let's play, I don't think it's needed. Crap, not sell province, sell ships.
Let's bring them closer. We probably won't be able to sell them. Great, these guys are willing to buy them. So yeah, I'm gonna take a break. We'll continue this in the next episode. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment. It helps a lot with the growth of the channel. Again, thanks for watching and take care.